it came up in a comment on somebody else's channel um, about getting more um, larger capacity cast iron to use on a, on a um, wood burning stove. Um, he already has um, a version of this. This is a lodge. It's the standard lodge. It's number eight. It's, it measures ten and a quarter inches across. And this holds about five quarts. That's what it, it's rated at, at about five quarts. Uh, I've got a trivet that fits in the bottom. Trivet's got little little feet to hold it up off the bottom and then uh, it just creates a it just creates a platform that's up off the heat so that uh, so that you can uh, you can avoid burning breads or or burning um, different things that you're that you're baking on the inside this this lid has got a ring all the way around it that fits the inside of the pan and it forms a steam seal it's uh, it isn't meant to hold pressure but pressure will burn uh, build up on the inside of um, of the pan and it'll and it uh, will keep steam on the inside also so this has a very very slight pressure cooker effect the pressures involved are going to be you know quarter of a pound at most but you can when you're boiling with the lid on and you lift the lid you can you can hear um, the steam pressure escaping from the inside uh, other options are the standard deep skillet all of these are roughly uh, a size eight they're all they're all roughly 10 inches across they're all a deep skillet or a deep pot and they all have lids this one this one was made by a company called favorite uh, they uh, they made iron in uh, Pico, Pica, Ohio, uh, spelled P-I-Q-U-A, and they they made cast iron until 1933, and they're. Uh, at the, during the depression they they closed down operations and um, they stayed idle for over a year in 1934 uh, they were completely bought out uh, by a company called Chicago Hardware Foundry and CHF took all of their patents and all of their uh, tools from their production line and moved it to Chicago and you'll see the markings for CHF are different from the markings for favorite Pika but right in the middle of the transition between favorite Pika and CHF you see the pans with the diamonds this one's a diamond D. It stands for a deep skillet. You'll see um, other pans. They have. They all will have a 
a rounded heat ring along the outside edge and they'll have unique handles and the transition pieces will have a diamond with a number on the inside as in you know diamond 8, diamond 6, diamond 7, diamond 5 I think I have a number 3 around here somewhere uh, CHF has their own markings uh, they have a a number on the bottom that roughly corresponds to the distance on the bottom of the pan from here across to here they'll have for example an 87 and that will roughly correspond to 8 and 3 quarters inches just just for general trivia this is a um, these were sold as uh, uh, toys for children so that you could start teaching youngsters how to how to cook with cast iron uh, this is um, it's a fully functional pan that um, is meant it's meant to be a toy but it'll cook it'll cook small portions uh, just as easy the the favorite pan uh, does not have the continuous ring for the lid the lid on the on the on the Dutch oven had a continuous ring that sealed completely around the favorite lid has got centering tabs and it's got ears that cover the pour spouts on on the iron on the iron skillet. This will seal, but it won't it won't hold pressure. And you can turn it so that you can let steam out the pour spouts. The third option, this is also made by Lodge. That's made by Pika. That one's made by Lodge. This one is a is a deep skillet. It's 10 inches across. Same as that. That lid will fit on top of this one also. But this is called a combination cooker because the lid will also work as a skillet. And the lid has got a flat has got a flat surface on the top as opposed to the dome lid of the Dutch oven. So you could you could put coals on the top of this and you can use you could use the skillet outdoors in the coals as for uh, for baking purposes. Uh, their other lodge has made this style of pan, and they called it two or three different two or three different things. This doesn't have an actual title, but there was another one that was made about f 10 or 15 years after this one that they called the 4-in-1. It, it had a big cross on the top of the lid. It's called the 4-in-1. It does exactly the same thing. This is, just doesn't have the labeling on it. That pan was made in the transition around 1934 or 1935 this pan because because of the marking it's got a heat ring all the way around the base 
and it's got one notch up at the top and Lodge started making this design in the in the early 1930s and the 1940s they added two more notches on either side so this this pan here was made between 1930 and 1940 so um, but Lodge sells a brand new version of this uh, for less for less than fifty dollars so I like I like the older pans because they have a better finish on the bottom and because because of the fact that they took a heavy pan a heavy cast pan and they used machine tools to remove metal to make it a smooth finish uh, the pans are lighter in weight and because they're lighter and because the cast iron is thinner and they're lighter in weight uh, they also have a better reaction time um, for heat inputs. They're all, um, all, all of these pans have a um, they have a personality as far as how how they react to heat and heat is um, the main thing that you use when you're cooking. They're all, all of these pans are good for their own application. This, this is a much, this is a much heavier pan than actually this pan weighs as much as both of these put together. But, but the thicker iron um, will take longer for the heat to to move through the metal but because it is thicker iron it will hold on to heat uh, longer so heat retention um, you can use that to your advantage um, and sometimes you want the heat to dissipate quicker and that's when you would use a thinner pan but that's a completely different subject to, to get into and I'll get this posted before it gets too long so I guess that's the end we'll see ya